What's going on, people? Since Machine 1.8 has been released and all of its users are getting Native Instruments Massive for free, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to properly introduce you to it. When describing it, the title says it all. Massive library, massive power, massive sound, and most importantly, massive enjoyment. What you have is an instrument that's capable of producing a wide variety of sounds, from aggressive leads, to mellow roads, to pop sequences, even an acoustic guitar or two. The answer to how Massive is able to do this is here in the synth page. Before we go there, let's take a look at the basics. Here's your file window for loading, saving, and initiating new sounds, as well as a couple of other things. Your preset window, up and down tabs to scroll through those presets, and once you're done modifying a preset, you can quick save it using the save or save as buttons. Here's your MIDI channel selector, the voices window, which shows you how many of massive 16 possible voices is being used. Multiple voices, processes, and effects can be heavy on your CPU, so if needed, you can choose a suitable setting for the sound engine here. And here's your panic button. That should be self-explanatory. To the right is your viewer. That gives you access to the synth, attributes, and browser pages. The attributes page shows you bank name, type, subtype, and mode of the current preset. Of course, these can be changed, reset, and saved when you're done. Last is the browser window. Here you can search for any of the over 1300 presets from Native Instruments or your own. You can do this by name, attribute, or just simply scrolling through them. And now to where all the work is done, the synth page. Here you'll find a massive amount of tools to help you achieve your sound. For starters, you have three oscillators. Each have a ridiculous amount of wavetables to choose from. You can adjust the pitch, wavetable position, intensity, and amplification. Next is your modulation section. You can adjust the pitch, set the modulation mode for each oscillator, then adjust the amount here. Below we can add some noise and feedback. For noise, you can select the color, adjust the amount, and amplification. Then add some feedback if you choose. Back up top, you have the ability to add two filters. On each, you can choose a filter type, then adjust it with the knobs below. To the right, you can adjust the volume of each filter, and on the far right, you can mix them. To the left, is where you can choose between serial or parallel routing. Of what, you might ask? If you look to the right of the oscillators, noise, and feedback, you'll see a crossfader. This crossfader allows you to adjust how much of that section is being sent between filters 1 and 2. Down to the bottom is our inserts. Here you can select up to two different effects and adjust them. Afterwards, they can be inserted into multiple places in the signal chain. More on that later. Next is the output section. There's amplitude, bypass, master effects, master EQ, and master volume. Now, to what many call the most important section, the center window. Here you'll find multiple pages of tools to assist you with your sound design and overall usage of Massive. Up top are your general page tabs for oscillator, key tracking oscillator, key tracking filter, voicing, routing, and global. Underneath are modulation pages. There's four envelope and four LFO. Clicking on them reveals several tools, parameters, and even presets. How this works is by dragging them to one of these slots. After dropping, clicking on the number, and dragging your cursor up or down sets how much that envelope or LFO affects that parameter. 
Finally, we've reached the macro control section. These operate very similar to the envelope and LFO pages, but these knobs can be assigned to your MIDI controller for real-time manipulation. This is only a brief overview of this program's capabilities. Look forward to seeing in-depth tutorials very soon. Massive is available for PC or Mac, for 32 or 64-bit operating systems, and runs as a VST, AU, RTAS, or AAX plugin. It also runs in standalone mode. It now comes bundled with the Machine 1.8 software as a part of Complete, or it can be purchased separately for $199 US from your favorite retailer or the Native Instruments website. Hopefully now you understand how massive, massive really is. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it, subscribe to the channel, and visit the website at playingwithplugins.com. See you next time.